Hi, my name is Abira. My height is 5'5". Five five. I'm a model and actress. I started my modeling in 2012. I have done brand shoots and I'm doing ramp as well. I want to do commercials. I think I can do... Abira Iqbal, a 20 years old student of Punjab University with a dream to become famous model was found dead in a traveling bag at a bus station in Johar town Lahore on January 13, 2015. She had shifted to Lahore from Sialkot for the purpose of study at university. Initially, she lived with her maternal uncle, but later she moved to a girl's hostel on Waydat Road. As per the post-mortem report, no torture marks were found on the 20-year-old's body and that she apparently died due to suffocation. After her body was identified by her brother, the case was opened and investigation started. The autopsy report also ascertained that the victim's body was kept in a freezer before it was stuffed in a bag due to which it became stiff. According to the initial report no fingerprints were found on her hands, arms and anywhere on body. Medics stated in the autopsy report that the exact cause of death or possibility of sexual assault cannot be conclusively determined until the results of her swabs, different body organs, hair and nails arrive from the Punjab Forensic Science Agency. Abra Iqbal went by the alias Ariba had been modeling for a couple of years, now and hoped to be the leading model in the industry. Preliminary investigations clubbed with autopsy reports show that the death was caused by excessive use of some intoxicants. The results will ascertain if the girl was murdered through suffocation by someone or a chemical reaction in her body due to presence of some drugs or poison which lead her to suffocate to death. The Punjab police started investigation on two different views, one she had been poisoned and let her die and the other is she had been overdrugged and suffocated to death. Abura's body was found at a local bus station, and when the police agencies interrogated the bus terminal officials from CCTV footage they see a lady came in a rickshaw and drooped the bag at bus terminal. The lady who drooped Abura's body at bus terminal was identified as a makeup artist's tuba. Her determination to achieve her goal led her to makeup artist use Marau alias tuba. The CCTV footage showed Tuba dropping off the traveling bag, at the bus station in Johar town. The rickshaw driver who drove her confirmed that Tuba had indeed traveled in his rickshaw from her apartment to the bus stop and back. Tuba's house was immediately raided and she was taken in custody. When the police interrogated Tuba she blamed one of the other friend for Abura's killing. Punjab police immediately arrested the blamed friend Mr. Farooq. The makeup artist Tuba used to live with Farouk and introduced Tuba to Farouk just 10 days before her death. Mr. Farouk is a private banker. Police detained the suspect, Farouk from outside a private bank. Delineating the details of the night Tuba was killed, Tuba said the hapless girl came to their house where Farouk took her to a room and locked it from inside. After a couple of minutes, she heard them having a fight inside the room but kept on cooking dinner in the kitchen. Tuba further told that after some time she heard Abura screaming at Farouk and asking him to fulfill his unknown promise. After a couple of minutes Tuba heard Abura weeping after which Farouk opened the door. She said that the girl had died by then and her friend, Farouk packed the girl's body in a bag and asked her to dump it anyway and left the house. Tuba then hired a rickshaw driver, Aslam who helped her pick the bag and took it to a bus stand on Bund Road, where she left it and came back to her house. The police found poisonous substances arsenic and nitrate from Tuba's house which the accused said Farouk had with him on the day Abura was killed. The rickshaw driver was taken by the police as an accomplice of at first, as Tuba stated that the rickshaw driver had murdered. After days of interrogation and the making up false stories which involved her blaming other friends of her, Tuba finally confessed to the murder. Tuba's statements confirmed that she wanted to murder her ex-husband, 
Babbabut and had asked for Abura's help, which she refused. The refusal angered Tuba who then killed Abura. In her confession statement Tuba told the police that she added cyanide to yogurt which was provided by one of her friend Mr. Zishan. Ariba was called to the house in and given a poisonous smoothie drink, and also confessed to killing ATV cameraman, Yaz Yufkoka a few months ago as well. Additional District and Sessions Judge Lahore, awarded death penalty to Azuma Rao alias Tuba in Modlabura murder case. The court also imposed a fine of Rs 500,000 on the convict. However, the court acquitted two accused, Fulkar Rehan and Hakim Zeshan, on benefit of doubt. Kindly don't forget to subscribe and like our channel. Thank you for watching this video.